Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hawa Bunga. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I land paid sponsorships as a nano influencer content creator. If you want to see how I land paid sponsorships and how you can too, just keep on watching. Before we get into the video, if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the game. Alright, now let's get into the video. Oh, hey, did Howa from the Future send you over here to learn more about brand deals and sponsorships and how you can get them and how I get them as a small influencer and creator? Oh, okay, well, I'm in the middle of doing my makeup for a sponsorship video that I have to film right now. So once I'm done doing my makeup, I got you, sis. Just stay tuned, okay? I'll be right back. I have my handy dap dandy laptop here. Help me stay on track. The first thing you need to do as a small content creator, YouTuber, influencer, I'm just going to use one word for the rest of the video, but for all three, engage and add value on the platforms, respond to comments, create content based on consumers' questions, get noticed by brands. Someone is on post on Instagram. Let's use Tierra Walker. Tierra Walker is someone, an uh, influencer that I follow on Instagram, YouTube, all of that stuff. She posts a try on haul where she's trying on clothes from J Lux label. But if anyone knows, Tierra Walker is an Amazon. She's super tall. Someone under the comments comment and say, hey, I wonder how that jumpsuit or how these outfits will look on someone who's 5'4". I'm 5'4", so I will respond to that comment by creating my own video creating my own video from that brand, purchase the same clothes, and do my own try-on haul. Then that way I would tag the brand, I would tag the person and say, hey, I know you asked the question about will this fit or how this would look on someone who's 5'4". I'm 5'4", I created this video. That way, that would get me noticed by not only the brand, it would get me noticed by other brands and also get me noticed by other viewers, other people that's 5'4", other people that were thinking the same exact question that one particular person were. On YouTube, you go to your favorite YouTuber's channel and someone comment and ask a question, right? They ask a question under there, but that YouTuber got thousands and millions of comments and can't respond to everyone's comment. Well, I go and I know the answer to their question, so I go into the comment and I answer the question, which will bring their attention to me to drive attraction to my channel and to my platforms. And this is just in general how you get noticed by brands because the more engaged you are with the audience, not only your audience, but other people audience, and you would gain subscribers and followers that way. It enables you to have more content to create to even get the attention from four brands in the first place. Everything is a process and everything you actually have to put in the work to do is not easy. Some stuff come easy, but the most part, you need to put in the work. By the way, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end because I have a special treat for you all, so definitely don't skip ahead. Number two, I tag brands whenever I post content. It's very important to tag brands. For example, this girl I was talking to and she was asking me like, oh, how do you get paid sponsorships? How do you get brands to notice you as a small content creator? Or well, I'm interested in working with this particular swimsuit brand and I don't know how to get their you know, attention. I've been posting so many videos, so many pictures on my Instagram and on my YouTube account with all of their products, with all of their swimsuit products. And I go to homegirl's Instagram and her YouTube, and she wearing their swimsuit, but she ain't never tagged them. She ain't tagged them in not one post. How they gonna notice you and you don't tag them? That's like you sending a secret admirer flowers and you don't like put your name or anything. That person is not gonna know who you are, they're not gonna know where the flowers came from, they're not gonna know who you are until you make yourself known. In order to get noticed by brands, you have to tag the brands that you're trying to get the attention from. Use hashtags. Other brands search those has hashtags for content creators. And believe it or not, a lot of brands these days 
are looking for nano influencers. Nano influencers have more of a connection to their audience and can create one-on-one -on -one conversations and act, answer questions and DMs and answer comments and follow up and things like that. Like it's more genuine. So they are looking for nano creators. If you're a lifestyle influencer, tech, whatever, whatever products that you're using, tag the products, use hashtags so that the brand can find you. And if I'm tagging a brand so many times, they're gonna eventually notice like, who is this person? Now let's move on to tip number three, using affiliate links. You could be a part of the Amazon affiliate program. Certain brands have their own affiliate program. I use a few, but the main one that I use is Skim Links and you can add an extension to your browser so that whenever you go on the website, if you copy the link, it'll tell you what percentage that particular brand is offering for your links, or you can generate like affiliate links, right? I'm doing an Amazon haul or whatever, I am going to use affiliate links for all of the products that I mentioned in that video. Not only will they generate you income because if people click on the links and they buy a small commission of that purchase, you can also use the data of how many consumers or viewers went from your video to that actual website to purchase. And sometimes they don't even necessarily have to purchase. Just the fact that you're converting viewers into shoppers is awesome. That Skim Links website will show you that. They will show you how many clicks that particular link had. When you wanna pitch yourself, you can take that data and say, hey, I made this video and I converted this many viewers to this many consumers or this many customers. They don't even have to be buyers. They don't even have to have purchase anything. But at least I drove traffic from my website, from my YouTube video or from my Instagram account to your website. So let's work together. Let's talk about partnership. Let's talk about a collaboration. You can always you know, reach out to brands or brands can reach out to you and you can show them your value by your affiliate link. So I see you have, you get likes, I see you get engagement, but like what's your conversion rate? Like how often do you convert your viewers to actually customers? Tip number four goes hand in hand with tip number three. Reaching out to brands that directly create rate card and media kit, show the brand your conversion. So almost the same thing as tip number four, but this one specifically reaching out to brands. Sometimes people are like, how do I get paid sponsorship? Why can't I land paid sponsorship? But sometimes it's, you gotta jump in the DMs. You gotta slide in the DMs. You gotta shoot your shot, baby. The worst thing they could say is no. So if it's a brand that you really wanna work with and a collaborative opportunity, you can definitely reach out to brands as a small influencer. A lot of people that I know do it and they have gotten amazing opportunities from it, including myself. When you reach out to brands though, you just want to make sure that you have your shit together. You want to reach out to them. You want to have your media kit ready. You want to have your rate card ready and you want to have proof that you work with other brands and you also want to have proof of conversion if you have that. And that's when you use affiliate links. But for the most part, definitely create a media kit as soon as possible. This is kind of why it's important to sometimes work with brands that's not paying and you accept that free product just so that you can get your feet wet and you can put that on your digital resume because that's technically what a media kit is. It's like a resume. So if you're reaching out to brands and you don't have anything in your media kit to show for, it's going to be hard for that brand to want to, you know, want to work with you or partner with you. When accepting collaborations, you just want to make sure that it's beneficial to both parties. Don't give in to those brands that reach out to you talking about, oh, we're going to send you um, some clothes or some items or whatever, but you got to pay for it or you got to pay for shipping. No, no, especially if you're not getting anything out of it in return. If say Elf reach out to me and they want to do a brand collaboration, but they saying they don't have a budget, which some brands would say, because I really freaking love Elf and I would don't I wouldn't mind getting a whole bunch of free products, I would do that because I'm getting free products out of it and it's Elf. Like me doing Elf, that's going to put me on the spotlight and get other brands and other bigger brands, bigger brands to notice me. So I wouldn't be doing, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. But Joe Sandwich Shop from around the corner reaching out to me talking about I got to pay for my sandwich and I got to create a video and I got to edit it. I got to do all the work. Like, 
how is this a collaboration? Like, what am I getting out of it? Just be very specific and intentional with whatever that you are accepting and that you are reaching out to get. Tip number five. This is the final one and this is a big one. And this is like one of the main reasons why and how I land paid sponsorship. And it's Clubhouse. I don't know if you all ever heard of Clubhouse, but if you haven't, definitely get onto it. Let me know in the comments. Right now, the, the app is in beta mode, so you have you it's invitation only, so you have to get invited to join the app. I do have a few invitations available. Comment below if you may need an uh, invitation, and I got you. Clubhouse is basically an audio only app, social media app. The company described it as a type of new social product based on voice that allow people everywhere to talk, tell stories, develop ideas, deepen friendships, and meet interesting new people around the world. And this is not a joke. That's how it is. I have friends that's in the UK. I have friends that's in Canada. I have friends that's in Africa. I contact with so many people that I would have never have gotten contact with if it wasn't for Clubhouse. Like you could literally be in the same room with a celebrity or you could be in the same room with certain CEOs or certain companies um, from Google to Microsoft to Apple to YouTube to whatever it is you can be in the same room with this person on app and talking to them so to me it's like a big networking event or networking app where you can network with different people in different states different countries different walks of life um, i'm going to link a video below that explains more about clubhouse on clubhouse i became active and engaged age meeting brands and businesses digitally but kind of in person I became a club owner, super host on the platform, and grabbed the attention of brands and business leading to collaborations, brand sponsorship, and contracts. My sister and I host rooms in Clubhouse all the time. Well, we talk about tools to help creators grow on YouTube. We mentioned VidIQ quite often and naturally promoted the products. And now we are creator partners of VidIQ. Yes, if you are a small content creator, rising youth content creator, any type of content creator, really you should know what vidIQ is. And little o me with about 2,000 subscribers right now is a creator partner with them and I have a contract with them just based on engaging at being active on the app, adding value, creating rooms, just networking that say hey I'm on here I'm looking for collaborations brand deals affiliate marketing all of that while I'm on the stage you don't know who's in the audience listening and those people will actually reach out to me it's brands that will be in the audience say hey I heard you talking on clubhouse or I saw you moderating on clubhouse I don't work with you like what's your budget like how much do I gotta pay like just dishing out money just here take my money if you are watching this video and you don't have the vidIQ extension, I highly recommend you get it. When you go in your YouTube studio, it sometimes can be very confusing. Stuff is all over the place. So it's hard for us as small creators or creators in general to really focus on our content when we're trying to figure out all of those numbers. vidIQ helps make sense of those numbers. Like they literally take everything that's in the YouTube studio and make it simple like so for us to read and understand so that we could focus more on our content so it learns the algorithm just like youtube learns the algorithm and it creates tools to better assist you and help boost your seo your search engine optimization if you don't know what that is and help you your videos better rank and search and drive traffic and subscribers to your channel really really a helpful tool if you don't have it I have a link down below where you can you can download it and use it yourself and see you can get the free version the more you update the subscription based service it will unlock more tools that's going to be very helpful to you so we're rising youtubers we're rising content creators we're rising influencers and even as that, I've been able to do so much in such such a short amount of time. As someone who's rising, I'm doing pretty well. So I really wanna share 
everything that I know with you all because that's what I do. That's what I do on Clubhouse as well. I add a value. I pour into people. I help as much as I can because I know I started somewhere. I can give you something that will help you that would have helped me back in that I know now and I wish I would have knew back then. Like, of course I'm going to tell you, sis. Like, I got you. Or bro, if you're watching this video because not all content creators are sisters. I'm actually, majority of them are men. Yeah, that's all. That's my five tips or five ways of how I land paid sponsorship as a rising YouTuber, content creator, influencer, and how you can too. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button, especially if I added value to you today. Like, come on, rock with me, join the gang. You'll love it here, I promise. I'm gonna thank you for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.